All right, so I'm going to be installing a lower balance from a TRD Pro onto my SR5. So here's the balance um, right here. On my previous video, I vinyl wrapped it matte black. Um, I have matte black vinyl on the Forerunner right now, so I'm sticking with that theme. I didn't want the gloss black. Some of them are silver, but this particular one was a gloss black off my buddy's TRD um, Pro. Um, so we're going to install this onto the SR5. So I'm going to drill the hole or uh, use a Dremel and cut the holes into that bumper. So I'm going to cut the holes into this bumper. Um, there are little pre, like, uh, you can kind of see little uh, rectangles, marks on it. That's what we're going to Dremel off. Um, I cheated. We cut this off with my buddies. Um, because we put on a, uh, what brand was it, SSO bumper. So I took this as a guide so I know exactly where those are. Um, and yeah, we're gonna, I'm just gonna cut those. You can kind of see, I'm gonna clean this up, use a Sharpie to mark them, and then just use a Dremel uh, wheel, just cut them out. And then this should just snap. Once it goes in, it's just gonna go in this way, snap right in, and it's got some clips. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna just use this as a overall guide to know where to find my little rectangles and I'm just going to drum all them up. So, pretty simple. Alright, so I got them all. So as you can see on this, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two right there, and one, two, three, four at the bottom. Um, I'm holding the grill bumper upside down, you might be able to see on the Sharpie, but one, two, three, four, or one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and those are um, already, like, it's kind of hard to tell, but if you if you take your bumper off, you're gonna see um, that they already kind of have lines on there, and then you just need to cut inside, like, looking at this one, it's cut just inside. There's two little lines. So it's a rectangle inside a rectangle. Um, you're gonna cut inside the smaller border. Um, and I'm gonna tape on the other, or I already have vinyl on the other side because I vinyl wrapped it, but you may want to put tape just so you don't get any um, clippings or anything like that on the outside on your paint. But I mean, really, it doesn't matter if you're gonna be covering it up anyways, but up to you. So, yep, that's about it. You can see on this side, same thing. And then, I think these are only for the license plate, um, which the holes are here too. If you're gonna mount your front license plate, I am not, so I'm not gonna drill those. I'm just strictly putting it on as a cover piece. All right, so I actually decided I'm not gonna use the Dremel wheel. Um, I have this little bit that it just spins and can cut in. I'm just gonna use this. I feel like I've had a lot more control with it, um, and it's easier for these smaller ones. So I'm just gonna use, I don't know what it ever size this is. 5 30 seconds drill bit you could do somewhere in there as long as this fits in i'm just going to drill a hole in there as my starting point and then just take this and then just follow the lines around all right so i got my holes pre-drilled um now i'm just going to take my dremel and sit there and clean each one out and then just keep test fitting the balance until it fits in So it's getting all, I'm actually melting this. So you have to figure out, clean it up or just pull it out or you can go a little slower. Um, but yeah, just kind of coming along. You can kind of see right there, but I'm going through yeah, my vinyl too. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Um, not do too much because it's going to be covered up anyways. And just keep testing it. And then if I need to take off a little more, I'll take off a little more. Some of them are a little not the best, um, but I'm just going to test fit it first and then if I need to take off a little more, um, I will and clean them up. But pretty simple. 
easy to do. So we'll see how it fits. Already had my balance vinyl wrapped. I just left it and I'm just gonna go right over the top of it. That way it still has the matte black there. And here I use the same vinyl wrap on it. So yeah, looks like all of them fit in. So I'll just clean this up and then grab the clips and test it out. If you're not gonna vinyl wrap your balance, then I mean, obviously just filling these holes overall is pretty easy. Um, and yeah, I just got mine from my buddy who we took his off. It doesn't really matter which way you go. I'm just making them all one way for the most part, but um, yeah, it's pretty, as long as they're in, that's all that matters because it's just there to hold them. All right. And that's it, I'm done. Um, holding it upside down though for you to see. You can just see all the clips I had in there. Uh, this one, I just put that way because of the screw hole. But yeah, otherwise, just kind of holding it all in. Uh, you can see it added on right here. So yeah, goes right over the top. Um, next, I'll put it back on the car. All right, so you can see it's all on right there. Uh, pretty easy obviously the vinyl wrapping it took the longest but this once you get the bumper off and I took the bumper off um, before I put a LED bar on um, the car you can kind of see right there um, so I knew how to take it off and then also from helping my buddy put his SSO bumper on so yeah here's the back of it with all the clips put on the holes already are, um, like I said, the markings are already there. So it's really easy to do off the SR5 once you get this and the clips. And just pretty much go pretty close to those holes um, or the markers, those little rectangles. Um, I went, there's a couple that got away from me a little bit, but they all fit on the first try. So I didn't even have to take off anymore. So I'm really happy with it. So next is going to be putting it back on um, the Forerunner and I'll show you of it being on there. But you can check out other videos. There's plenty of YouTube videos on how to get this bumper off. Um, pretty st simple, straightforward. I had to take my upper grill part off because I have uh, Raptor lights and they don't have a plug. So I just took this upper part off. And then obviously to me, the biggest pain is this dust cover for the passenger fog light, which I still don't understand why the passenger has one and the driver's side does not. Um, so yep, next you'll see it on the car. All right, here's the finished product valance installed on my fifth gen forerunner so i left i had previously vinyl wrapped um this front valance part to mimic this um so you can see it's kind of blacked out right there um, i use matte black so i left that on and just put this one, new one on top over it um so i vinyl wrapped the valance itself on the previous video that took me the longest that took me a few hours to really get it nice to where i wanted it and then the actual drilling and all this i mean half hour maybe an hour total um plus getting your bumper off you have to get your bumper off otherwise you need to be able to drill from the opposite side but yeah overall turned out really good gives it a little more i feel like aggressive look um i don't have i don't think i'm gonna get a low profile bumper or anything so this helps um, sticks out of the car a little better. As you can see right there. But yeah, pretty simple overall. Just need to get a valance and drill the holes. Um, mine was, yeah, a gloss black. I vinyl wrapped it to make it a matte black. Um, but yeah, you got all the different colors so you could do whatever you want. But yeah, I'm trying to go keep it in line with the rest of my vinyl because I got this done. This isn't vinyl wrapped, but um, I vinyl wrapped here in the hood. 